Legends for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. I'm your host, Fassie Vermicelli. Does a Bear is on assignment. And seeing as I'm finally the one in the chair, we're going to give the random wheel of topics a proper spin. Once again, as provided by me and my duties as host of PC Packs Puppets and Politics, they are 10 reasons Justin Trudeau's liberals suck, 10 reasons to give that super hunky Aaron O'Toole a majority government, 10 reasons not to get the COVID-19 vaccine, and the completely superfluous Trudy's Puppet Theater. Here we go! Okay, well, there's none of this nonsense is going on. We're going to do the random wheel, and we're going to make sure that it's done correctly. So here we go! Ah, 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 ah. There, that's a good spin! And we're going to get... Oh, no PC! Or the... Oh, ten reasons not to... Seriously! What the... Ah. There's a weight on the back of this! This whole thing is rigged! I knew it! I knew it! Well, all right, fine. This is the last time we're doing this. From here on in, this stupid thing is... Just get this out of the... All right, fine. Here's your puppet theater. You know, I eat practically the same as Dale. She's so much thinner than me. It's not fair. Hey, Dale. Where? What? Between my teeth? I feel so much better now. Oh, I suppose this is rigged too, huh? Fine. On this day in 1610, during Henry Hudson's search for the Northwest Passage, he sailed into what is now known as Hudson Bay. Several weeks later, he was put out in a boat by his crew for wasting everyone's time. Speaking of which, have you ever tried to get a sales assistant's help in the bay? Particularly the shoe department. Seriously, you need to set out some sort of leg trap or something. Ugh. On this day in 1776, the signing of the United States Declaration of Independence took place. If it was written on July 2nd and signed August 2nd, why is the 4th of July even a thing? Seriously! On this day in 1943, U.S. Navy motor torpedo boat PT-109 was rammed and sunk by Japanese destroyer Amagiri. Lieutenant John F. Kennedy, yes, that JFK saved all but two of his crew. President Kennedy's desk displayed a coconut from that period, a piece of flotsam that continued with them until they were rescued. Bonus fact, when the question came up on Jeopardy, all three American contestants failed to name the correct president, but I did even though I'm Canadian. <laughs> How'd you like them Maple Leafs? On this day in 2005, during a severe thunderstorm, Air France Flight 358 ran off the runway at Toronto Pearson International Airport and burst into flames. There were only 12 injuries and no fatalities, but a whole lot of chaos for commuters in the area. What else is new? It's ice cream sandwich day and it's coloring book day. That's it? That's lame. That's today's Does a Bear Digest. Join me tomorrow when I rip this random crap of a wheel a new one. Bye!